What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, AC Cooler, aka Big AC, back again with yet another bank with y'all, man. Now, I know y'all probably already seen, you know, about the Lost and Found Chicago ones, how many pairs of reporters are released. And, you know, it's a lot of pairs, you know, 500,000. That's a lot of pairs, you know what I'm saying? Especially for a Jordan 1. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said it was the highest stock for a Jordan 1 to ever release, which is amazing news, you know what I'm saying? More pairs means more chances to cop the shoe. But, don't sit up here and look at those numbers and be like, okay, you know, so many pairs, that means I got a great chance of getting the shoe. Now, keep in mind, because it's a it's a, a high stock number does not always mean that you have a higher chance. This is a highly sought out of sneaker. A lot of people want this shoe. Like, a lot of people want this sneaker. And also, a lot of pairs have already been backdoored. So, that 500,000 might, you know, drop down to, you know, a few hundred thousand, however it may be. So, just because you see that number up there, don't get your hopes up. Don't sit up here and, and get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get too comfortable with this shoe release because it's still going to be hard to cop. Everybody's not going to touch this shoe. Everybody's not going to touch this sneaker. And with that being said, make sure that y'all are ready for this shoe drop, man. Make sure when these Johns come out, man, y'all are ready for this shoe drop. Don't sit up here and just, just bank on sneakers, you know, to copy your pair. Don't put, your, don't put all your eggs in one basket and sit up here like, oh, I got all this time to copy these shoes. There's so many pairs. They can't sell out. Yes, they can. They, and they definitely will sell out. So with that being said, man, make sure y'all are y'all are up and ready on release day when these shoes drop, man. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's still November 19th. So make sure y'all are up and y'all are ready for this sneaker release, man. Cause y'all don't want to be sitting up here looking sad because you thought you had so much time because it was so many pairs. Yes, don't get me wrong, it's it's still gonna be a lot of pairs. It's still a lot of pairs releasing. But with that being said, y'all chances the it increases slightly, but it's still gonna be hard to cop this shoe. Is it is like you know, in my opinion, the sneaker of the year. The, the Jordan 1 of the year and people love Jordan 1's and it's a Chicago colorway so it's a sought after sneaker and it's a, a love colorway so it's a, it's a sneaker that's going to be definitely hard to cop so with that being said man make sure y'all are up y'all are ready y'all got y'all funds together y'all got y'all cell phones open to the sneakers app and y'all are not just using one account man if y'all want to cop these if you really want to get these shoes really really want to get these shoes man I'm telling y'all you have to be ready on your phone multiple accounts tell your mama to get on the account tell your brother tell your dad tell your uncle tell your auntie tell your grandmama your granddad whoever tell everybody get on their phones get sneakers app open get log in and put your size in because granted yes once again it's a lot of pairs but a lot of pairs have already been backdoored it's gonna be these store managers holding their pairs for their homeboys or for y'all local resellers out there you know what i'm saying to, to get their profit off you know for these shoes so Y'all just make sure y'all ready, man. Y'all don't 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 go into the malls, you know, whatever city you might be in that might get these in they mall in the mall. Don't go to the mall, you know, an hour after opening up, two hours after opening up, thinking you get in this picture. You get there that late, man. If you, even if you get there 30 minutes after they open up, you might be out of luck. I'm telling y'all, you got to get there bright and early before they open, right at opening. Whenever you as, as long as you there, like I wouldn't say as long as you there because you got you really got to be there for these shoes. It's gonna be a sneaker that. Like I said, people want this shoe. It's a sought after sneaker. It's going gon', it's, it's to sell out instantly. It's going to sell out probably day one. It's not going to be no shoe you can go to the mall the next day and see sitting on shelves because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Granted, yeah, it's a lot of stock. Ooh, whoop to do. You know, it's like 500,000 pairs. It's exciting. Yeah, I'm excited about the amount of stock for this sneaker. But at the same time, man, just because it's so much stock, man, does not mean that it's going to be an easy shoe to cop. So don't sit up here, like I said earlier, and, and put your eggs in one basket and sit there and, and look at your play, play games on your phone, you know, laying in bed, like, oh, I got time to get up and go to the mall, I got time to get on sneakers. I'm sure once the shoe drop, I can still get on the sneakers app 30 minutes after they drop. Let me, you know, update my Facebook status, let me update my, my Twitter saying I'm finna cop the shoes. Because by the time you press send tweet or by the time you press post that status on Facebook, the shoe gone. It's sold out. So make sure y'all y'all up and y'all ready, man, because yeah, 500,000 pairs is a beautiful number, but at the same time, it's, a, it's more than 500,000 people and that's, that's in the sneaker game that wants this shoe. So with that being said, man, y'all, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I wish everybody luck with this shoe release. Hopefully y'all, you know, can cop for, you know, retail price. Retail is always the goal, retail over resale, you know what I'm saying? But if resale price is, you know, right now, if it isn't your budget, I wouldn't say right now, this one, but closer towards release, if the price drops down to a certain price point that you feel like you can afford without having to hurt your bank account, without having to, you know, put certain things to the side, man, I would go for, I would pull that trigger. 
because I'd rather, you know, be safe than sorry with this with this sneaker release. You know, I'd rather have them for a decent price whenever, you know, you can get it for resale if you have to, you know what I'm saying, rather than wait until the release date and they still out and all these resellers want to be crazy with these prices and, and up them to whatever they want to up them to because they got them, but you don't. So they can pretty much tell you, hey, you got to pay this price because, you know, this is the, this is my price. This is the price I'm, I'm having set as. And if you don't like it, hey, go find it somewhere else. And the next man might have them at an even crazier price. So if you see a good price and it's in your budget and you, it won't hurt your account, it won't hurt you at all, you know what I'm saying? Pull that trigger, man. Get that reseller, man. Hit them up. You know, cop the shoe. Yeah, it might be kind of steep at the moment, but you're going to look at the price later on down the line and it's a possibility that it could increase. But at the same time, it's a possibility that it could decrease. So it's like, you, it's kind of like you in a, in like a in for a loop. It's like, do I want to pay the price that they, they got it at, at that moment where it could, you know, drop or it could increase. So it's like, if you feel 100% confident that you can afford them sneakers at the price they got it at and you have a high chance, you know what I'm saying, of, of getting them without, you know, hurting yourself or hurting your account or whatever, cop them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a good cop. Once again, if you haven't seen my review on these, man, go check my review. I'm going to leave a link at the end of the video for this review. But as always, man, I appreciate y'all watching my videos, man, getting my subscribers up there. We finally broke 300 subscribers. Mark, we over 300 subscribers now, man. So let's keep this, this channel constantly growing, man. Let's get over 400, over 500, you know what I'm saying, over 2,000, you know. 10,000 plus, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's constantly keep this channel growing, man. So make sure y'all like my videos, man. Y'all smashing that like button, hitting the notification bell, man. Y'all subscribing to my channel, man. Y'all telling a friend to tell a friend. And as always, man, I'm gonna keep putting out this fire content for y'all, man, because without y'all without y'all watching my videos, I wouldn't have no videos to post. So once again, man, I appreciate y'all for what y'all do for my channel, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.